Well, Brendan, two wins from two in Group G. How pleased are you this evening? Yeah, very pleased. It was a different type of performance. Pitch was really, really poor. You maybe couldn't see that on TV, but uh, but it was very, very bumpy and uh, wasn't conducive really for 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 good football. But um, but we're two 0 up at half time, and then for them, they've nothing then to lose going into the second half. We nearly go three 0 up, which kills the game. Instead, a few minutes later, they they get the equaliser. So that gives them a, or gives them the the two one. So that gives them some momentum for 15, 20 minutes. And then you've got to be really strong. So, um, but by the end, I thought we were really professional. Two other chances ourselves in the game to, to wrap it up. But when they don't go in, you have to be concentrated, resolute, and uh, and we did that. So, very proud of the team because, like I say, we're we're team based along playing fast football. But uh, but when you can't, it's important that you can see the game through, and we did that very well. And just on those periods where. Obviously, AEK came forward and had those opportunities, and Casper made that save. There was periods in the game where we really had to stand strong, and we did that. This yeah, game. yeah, and that's that's the real pleasing aspect of, of how the team has grown and developed. And you know, there's a real maturity in how we play. Like you say, Casper coming up with big moments, some big blocks in the game, and you think of how young this team is as well. So this experience for them coming away, getting the result, very, very good, and uh, yeah, this will be great for their confidence. And obviously Hamza Chowdhury getting his first European goal and his, obviously his first start in Europe as well. How pleased are you for him? Brilliant. I thought it was a really, really good finish. He's got himself into a real good position and he ends up scoring the winning goal. It was actually close as well in the, in the second half where he nearly got in. So, yeah, delighted for him. We need all the players that are involved in the squad and for him to come in. I thought Mark Albrighton was, was excellent as well. Uh, Big Wes, you know, not playing so much, but... He was a man mountain in there for us this evening, you know, colossal performance and really aggressive and strong. James Justin again, he, he just plays the games and uh, he, uh, not his best performance, but he's so, so mentally strong. He plays in so many different positions for me and, and does amazing each time. So, uh, so yeah, just delighted with the result. Like I said, it was always going to be difficult to, to play how we've played and, and before and a lot of the games where it's a bit faster and and a bit more, uh, bit more combinations tonight. It was get the goals, be strong defensively, and get the win. And so, six out of six, out of six is a very good start for us. And obviously, those changes in the second period. Obviously, Luke Thomas came on at half time, and then there was another four changes. What does that show you about the um, the strength and depth of the squad as well? Yeah, it was important. We had to manage the game this evening because uh, there's players playing not so many games. Yeah, we, we felt that. Just stabilise the game, bring Papis in and gives us that control. Dennis on the side gives us that control and, and work rate. So I thought they were very good. Kel's coming on for Jamie. Jamie, you know, 70 odd minutes, run his heart out, creates the goal and is always a threat. But Kel's come in and makes a big contribution. And, and Luke Thomas, as you say, Luke comes in. We'd planned that before when Johnny wasn't available because uh, we can't afford to lose another defender. So Christian, 45 minutes. Luke came in and I thought he did very well, putting a great cross where Farge nearly scores at the beginning of the half. So, so all in all, very much a, a squad result tonight, really showed their unity and uh, yeah, I'm delighted for them.